Hello, a very good morning to all of you. Um, we have just looked at what is literature review, how to do literature review, and different steps that we need to uh, carry out in order to uh, uh, have a very good literature review. Let us now continue with the data collection uh, unit. Uh, today we are going to look at the overall methods that we need to have for us to do the data collection, for us to address our objective and to reach out the results or the conclusion. So what is the gap, the method that we need to use is all about uh, the the presentation that follows from here. So uh, where are we exactly? So we are uh, exactly at the materials and methods right now, or the data collection unit. So um, uh, we, have just deal, we have just dealt with literature review. Now we have just, uh, we are just left with results and discussion on how to write conclusional. So uh, we are now at data collection methods. If I'm just, uh, uh, if I'm to just uh, remind you, where are we? You must have seen what is research design, what is, uh, what is like study design, uh, uh, or simply a design that's written in a proposal or uh, any article or any uh, research projects. So research design is basically a collection of methods, collection of data collection instruments, collection of uh, sampling strategies, and also uh, the collection of uh, data analysis tools and data analysis uh, statistical procedures. So uh, research design or the methods, research designs or the methods is basically a link between a uh, research question, or you can say in general a research problem at one hand, Research problem has research objectives mainly, and these research object objectives have to be fulfilled to reach certain conclusion or the results here, which we can discuss and we can conclude something else from the research. So there's a big gap that's left between the research question and the results. So that gap is being filled by what is exactly called as methods or what is called as overall the research design. So research design is a collection of uh, strategies. For example, uh, strategy is also uh, called by uh, synonyms like approaches. So whether you're going to use um, uh, qualitative approach or quantitative approach. So if you're using a quantitative approach, let's say, are you using ecological or experimental or any other, any other observational studies? Let's say we are doing ecological studies. Then when we are doing ecological studies, um, what are the uh, sampling methods that you need to uh, you, you need to have? For example, um, uh, let's say uh, you're doing uh, diversity and distribution of um, pygmy hawk, pygmy hawk in central southern Bhutan. So, um, in order to do that, in order to do that ecological studies, um, you need to do you need to design a sample uh, sampling strategy. So, what kind of sampling strategy uh, is it? Random or non-random? And let's say if it is random, then how many random samples are you going to generate? And let's say if you are going to look at, you know, like uh, uh, three to four different kinds of places or three to four different kinds of forest, then how would you collect the data? What are the data collection instruments? And uh, after data collection instruments, how would you like to uh, proceed with these instruments? How would you like to use different kinds of procedure to collect the data? And now at last we have got data that data how would you like to analyze what, what are the data analysis tools that you're going to use and uh, what are the different statistical analysis that you are going to carry out are they descriptive are they inferential are they both descriptive as well as inferential so from that data analysis then we can reach to results so can you see the gap exactly that's being left by research objectives and that has to be connected by uh, re results and result discussion is what is the method or research design is all about. So we'll be looking at this in more depth. So what I'm saying was uh, there are basically four steps that we need to follow in order to uh, have a good research design or uh, there are four steps that we need to uh, look at to fill the bridge or fill the gap between 
research problem at one hand and uh, a result at the other hand. So starting from the strategy and design of all the approaches that we would, we would like to use till the data analysis before presenting those analysis to uh, interpret it as results is what research design or is what what uh, uh, is what method is all about and data collection is one of them and data collection is simply not something else we can directly go to the field or we can directly go to uh, population and do some kind of like uh, collection method it's a it's a long process because of that uh, uh, we have got whole strat whole strategy and design coming here sampling sample and sampling coming here and uh, data collection always follows with data analysis so this is a very uh, huge topic so this is what research design is all about um, firstly we have got a strategy in our research design or methods strategy is basically what are you going to look at uh, what is the approach what is the strategy or what is the design that you want to come up with so is it qualitative or is it quantitative if it is quantitative is it observational uh, studies or is it interventional or experimental studies if it's observational um, are you looking at ecological uh, ec ecological studies are you looking at cohort studies are you looking at surveys if it's like interventional are you looking at R cities and all um, are looking at quasi experimental setups and if it is qualitative then you have got different things over here like case studies and all so that's what set uh, strategy and design is all about and again strategy and design covers basic background of what uh, whole uh, method looks like again sometimes so I uh, will again deal in detail what is strategy and design and how to right strategy and design and we are actually indeed going to look at all these four steps in detail in this presentation second is when you have decided um, the strategy and design I'm going to use qualitative uh, uh, approach then I'm going to use case study as my uh, case study is my research uh, strategy or research design then after using case study then I'm going to select my uh, I'm going to do sampling of my samples and how would I be doing let's say I'm going to use snowball sampling and after using snowball sampling what is the number of uh, sample that you are going to choose so it's all about sample and sampling then it comes <clears throat> the data, uh, data collection so for example if you have uh, if you have randomly <coughs> um, uh, randomly uh, looked at around uh, 300 people from 1000 let's say 30 percent of the total population 300 from 1000 then how would you like to <coughs> collect the data what is the instrument that you're going to use so what are the instruments that you're going to use and what are the procedures that you're going to use in order to collect data from the three number of samples and after that how would you like to analyze the data how would you like to present the data what are the tools that you're going to use it's all about um, data collection methods so i really hope the overview of what uh, research design looks like is clear to you overview of what methods looks like is clear to you just not one thing it's basically a bridge between research problem and the results and starts with the strategy and design and ends with data analysis um, let us look at in this presentation in depth what is strategy and design so when you're writing proposal when you're writing uh, uh, article and when you're just you have, when you've just covered a literature review and when you're just entering uh, the materials and method part the first thing that you need to write is the study area so where are you going to do the study second thing that we are going to write is the research design meaning the brief one paragraph uh, write-up of what overall methods overall sampling design overall uh, data collection and uh, the analysis 
uh, looks like in just a small one paragraph. So the strategy design is kind of a, a kind of like background to what uh, Matt Lewis and methods looks like. So let's let us just dive into this one. So we are at this one. So basically, you're going to mainly focus when you are writing strategy and design is so you're going to mainly focus either it is either the research is qualitative or either there is research is quantitative if it is quantitative what is exactly uh, the study that you're going to carry out from here and a um, uh, few things to mention in uh, strategy and design is also about basic thing about sampling whether you're going to do uh, random sampling or non-random sampling or mixed sampling or uh, any other kind of uh, sampling method if you have then uh, how would you like to collect the data and what is the overall uh, uh, overall uh, data analysis uh, uh, data analysis procedure that you're going to use is something uh, that you also need to include in strategy and design but not in very depth so in depth you're going to uh, write it in next paragraphs or next subtitles uh, strategy and design is basically um, uh, you are going to basically write the collection of methods to be used how they are ordered or organized to answer research questions and objectives so that's basically what is design so uh, design is something like <clears throat> if you're using observational uh, studies like if you're using observational studies if you're using ecological studies you're basically going to write that you're uh, you want to carry out your research through uh, ecological studies and uh, the strategy is basically the 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 rational behind uh, the design meaning um, uh, sometimes uh, you directly write uh, ecological studies you want to uh, do ecological study and you do not write uh, the the background or the logic behind uh, for you to use ecological study so or like sometimes you want to uh, carry out a qualitative uh, uh, a qualitative uh, qualitative design and uh, you are uh, using case study as your design but uh, you are not uh, writing why uh, exactly case study fits for your study and why uh, you think that case study is going to address your research questions or objectives so strategy is basically writing uh, two to three lines after uh, the design so you'll get clear with this one in a while what i'm saying um, basically in strategy and design you're going to answer this following four questions what strategy will be used so do not get mixed up with what strategy and design is all about. Strategy and design can be used interchangeably sometimes, but just know that when you're using, when you're writing that you are, you want to carry out through one studies, let's say case studies, um, you need to write at least two to three lines to back up whether the case study is good for you, good for that study or not. So it's all about giving logic after design. So whatever it is, uh, in combination with the design that you're using and the strategy that uh, you are, are going to write to back up the to back up the logic behind the design you need to write it at first place secondly from whom will the data be collected that's basically sampling how would you like to do the sampling how many samples and uh, how will the data be collected that's data collection instruments and data collection procedures and how will the data be analyzed so these things are these four things are something that has to be in brief under strategy and design but also starting from the third question over here that's on sampling then we have got uh, over here in data collection and then we have got on data analysis you need to write it in detail in following paragraphs but i'm just saying you again and again strategy and design is all about giving a mental picture or overall picture on how uh, your research design basically looks like look at a few examples of <coughs> uh, how to write strategy and design just in one paragraph or um, uh, if you're writing more than one paragraph just keep it small but uh, how to write it very short and sweet so strategy and design let's say uh, you want to compare between two schools 
Gedaulu Middle Secondary School and Risimu Middle Secondary School. I do not know whether they exist or not because uh, uh, I've just created myself. So Gedaulu Middle Secondary School and Risimu Middle Secondary School. Let's so let's see how to write. Um, the approach, the strategy, or the design overall design that you're going to use is a qualitative design. So. Uh, a person who is really looking at your proposal or really looking at your article knows what is qualitative and quantitative designs. And sometimes you do not need to reflect a sentence, particular sentence called as I or like uh, the study will be using qualitative design. You do not need to reflect it because if you reflect it through some uh, particular design like case study design, it only shows that it's under qualitative design. So case study design is just fine without writing qualitative in front. So a comparative case study design will be used to study the implementation of environmental policy change in schools. So the author really wants to uh, look at whether the implementation of uh, environmental uh, policy has been implemented well and whether it has got a good effect on the schools so it's uh, basically choosing two kinds of school one is Gedaldo school and one is Rizmu school so to do that to see whether the policy change environmental policy change has actually uh, been implemented well and it's actually uh, uh, bringing a positive impact or not the case study comparative design is being used firstly so that's the design and uh, let's uh, hear What's the strategy? What's the logic be to, behind to use the case study design? So, Gidaudu Middle Secondary School is generally considered to have been successful in implementation, whereas it is generally acknowledged that implementation in Risimu Middle Secondary School has been difficult and troublesome. So, documentary data. So, this is the basic thing uh, uh, why uh, case study is being case study is quite uh, appropriate for. Uh, this study, this study, uh, why case study is good to be used for this study. This is the basic uh, logic or basic uh, strategy. Uh, basic strategy. So um, now let's look at the sampling, data collection, and data analysis. So documentary data, informal observation data in both uh, schools and from samples of classroom teachers will be uh, collected. So uh, documented data will be collected. The data will be analyzed using Miles and Huberman approach, with a view or with a view to developing explanatory uh, proposition account for different outcomes of the implementation. So, what we have seen over here is that we have seen strategy and design. Design is case study, and strategy is Gedaulu Middle Secondary School is generally considered that 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 again, and uh, Racing Middle School is considered that 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 again, and comparative um, case study design is perfect for that one because of that one and uh, sampling strategy is not being something design is not being uh, reflected here whether it's to be uh, collected through a uh, quantity uh, uh, random uh, design or whether it's being whether the sampling is to be done through non-random uh, designs or whether it's to be done through mix that's being uh, missed over here and uh, it'll make sense when you are looking at the following slides that in terms of qualitative um, research designs, um, sampling and the sample size is not very uh, important in terms of um, uh, qualitative um, designs. So, uh, is it just fine? It's just fine to uh, just go directly with the data collection instruments and procedures in terms of qualitative uh, analysis and to continue with the data analysis, but. For quantitative, you need to really look at because quantitative is all about uh, generating facts and figures from particular populations and all. So you really need to look at the number of uh, samples that you're choosing. Um, uh, uh, then follow, follow that with uh, the data collection instruments and procedures and that being followed by the data analysis. So one thing is suddenly being missed over here. That's being uh, that's the sample size and sampling method. But let us look at whether the this design fits this or not. 
So what strategy will be followed? So case study design and reason is being backed by the explanation between Kedalu and Rissingu. And from who will the data be collected? So it's being said like from classroom teachers, from schools, from students, it will be collected. How will the data be collected? So uh, informal uh, observation, documented data, primary and secondary both will be collected. How will the data be analyzed? So it's being analyzed by Mile and Huberman approach. So Mile and Huberman approach will be uh, dealt very uh, dealt in depth in the data analysis part of this research, but it's not being dealt in depth in the strategy and design part, mainly because it's showing just giving the overview of what uh, uh, data analysis part looks like. Now let us look at the quantitative uh, strategy and design. Um, let us say that we want to um, uh, compare between the teaching learning uh, methods of entrepreneurial development module in the colleges of REB. Uh, we are choosing two different kinds of methods to see which one is effective over the other one. One is uh, direct instruction method and the other one is um, cooperative learning. Um, for this one, we are using experimental uh, design. So it's under quantitative and we're using experimental design. And um, uh, two comparison groups of approximately 40 students each will be set out by random allocation of uh, ATP students. That means with the sampling uh, design that we are going to use is the random sampling and the number of sample size is 40 students. Uh, one group will receive one semester of direct instruction for 10 topics using cooperative learning in the classroom. And after eight weeks, the two groups will be tested on their knowledge of the ADP topics, of these ADP topics. That means um, uh, the strategy that we are going to, if you just look at the four questions over here, the strategy that we are going to use is the experiment uh, design and uh, um, Data will be collected by, from the uh, college students who are learning EDP uh, in different uh, colleges in REB. And how will the data be collected? Uh, so uh, 40 students through random sampling will be uh, used to collect the data. And uh, the data collection procedure mainly is we are going to uh, look at uh, students who are receiving uh, one semester of direct instruction for 10 topics using the cooperative uh, learning in the club and, and some students will receive uh, direct instruction and some students will receive uh, cooperative learning and towards the end of the semester we are going to compare between these uh, two kinds of uh, uh, instructions so at last uh, we'll be analyzing the data to test the knowledges of this EDP topic. So basically, the four questions are being addressed over here. Um, now let us look at the mixed method. So it's very rare that you are going to just use qualitative uh, uh, design separately and qualitative design separately, or uh, in other words, uh, it's very rare for you to just stick with the, uh, with your research or with your dissertation or thesis just with one kind of uh, design whether it is uh, qualitative or whether it is quantitative but most of the time what you have to do is you need to have both of these designs together working uh, simultaneously so um, in this cases we have got a mixed method if you're going to use both qualitative and quantitative design let's say uh, I'm going to uh, still uh, do the diversity and distribution of pygmy hawk in uh, Central Southern Bhutan. In this case, uh, my quantitative data collection is to throw out our uh, uh, samples, to collect the data from the forest, and come back and analyze the data. And quanti uh, qualitative can be now uh, to go to the uh, local communities to ask uh, people around who knows really about Pikmi Hawk, uh, its conservation traits. Uh, the declining uh, population of uh, pygmy hawk if they have seen or if they know something about it so i'm basically uh looking at quantitative by going to exactly going to field and collecting the data 
um, by laying out my experimental trials or like by laying out the plots and uh, transactional that's quantitative for data and I'm looking at few people who really know about uh, pygmy hog its conservation rates and all and at last um, collecting uh, both kinds of um, uh, data so mixed method is basically that one and in mixed method the first thing that you need to collect is quantitative data and analyze the quantitative data then you collect qualitative data and analyze the qualitative data um, it should never happen that first you collect the qualitative data and then continue with quantitative data it should always be quantitative data followed that with qualitative data so uh, whatever uh, information that you'll be getting off by quantitative data it can provide general understanding of research problem a general understanding because these facts and figures can really explain something else but the qualitative data, data can refine and explain those statistical results by exploring participants view in more depth so like i said in forest if you have seen different diversity and distribution of pygmy hawk and all if it is declining if you have seen less number of uh, pygmy hawk and uh, by uh, asking few people you actually know the threats of pygmy hawk and you see that uh, it's declining because of different uh, conservation threats and all so that's uh, the reason why we have to start with quantitative and uh, then follow that with the qualitative so this kind of design which follows one another is not a sequential uh, design so thank you so much for